hey wonderful specials good beautiful evening you guys how are you all doing welcome back again to my channel it's me your girl Othon a mommy youtuber based in abia state nigeria do well to hit your red subscribe button like and share any video you found interesting here let's go into the video so um you guys i came here to also leave my own unpopular opinion because i said something the last time and a lot of you saw reasons with me which a lot of you also go. but notwithstanding i must still say my mind because it is a fellow woman a mother like me that was wasted do you understand yes i know you understand so what am i talking about is about the death of this woman mrs osina chima chuku yeah you guys know what have been going on this is my opinion the thing is the pastor um dr paul nh the founder ceo that the go of dunamis has finally spoken and he said he doesn't know that Mr. Wachuku has been molesting, assaulting, disgracing his wife, a high rank top member of your church. I don't know what the truth is, but if you analyze it, if you check it, if you screen it, you will see that something is wrong somewhere. Why do I say so? How can you tell me that man is not aware of what is happening in that woman's house? Mrs. Osinachi is somebody that leads the worship in the church, in your church. She is a woman that occupies a separate special, special seat in your church. She is also a woman who goes to other churches to minister. Now, you are telling me that you are not aware while some choir members are aware. He said, I don't know Una Fugonu. I'm a village YouTuber. So I don't know how to I don't know how to get that video, but I watched the video here. Yeah? I watched it on IG. If you want to watch that video, go to Laura Ikeji's page. She's the person I watched it on. Or you can even check here on YouTube. A lot of bloggers have it here. He said, him and his wife oh, said that he wasn't aware that when the, the woman don't die, like uh, it is after the woman died, he now begin to make inquiries. Then people started telling him, he said he asked people in the church and they said they are aware. He now said, why didn't they tell him? He also said he asked some choir members and they said they were aware. He now asked, why didn't they tell him? Are you trying to tell me that? That man didn't hear that thing from even if, in my the church, they are always gossipers. Okay, even the choir members. Are you trying to tell me that they didn't tell somebody that told somebody that told somebody? It's a lie. He knew. Yes, because all this news now, all this news, like all this domestic violence news when it happens to somebody like me now um maybe in my church and i happen to hear that maybe i'm in a choir um group and i happen to hear that somebody that i am looking up to is going through something like that nah man me <laughs> if i used to look at that woman like this the eye will come down like this because why does she have to endure such a thing? Now you're trying to tell me that in that church, in that church, that nobody have summoned courage to tell the, their pastor or the wife or any of the children. You're trying to tell me that none of the family members of Pastor Nature have heard such a thing, have heard that that woman is going through a lot in her, in her, in her marriage. Is a lie. Yes, is a lie. He heard, but he decided to mind his business. In my own opinion, he heard, but he decided to be preaching to that woman. It is only that woman now that will tell us. It is only her that will tell us what went through, which she cannot even, she can't even come out and say, that is why we tell you, leave. Leave to tell your story. 
If you found yourself in such a situation, live to tell your story. We have so many, so many. See, it must not be. It must not be a domestic. Like, we have so many maltreatments. There are so many things women go through in marriage. That if they open up their mouth to tell you, you will be marveled. Like, you'll be wowed at what your fellow woman is going through in her marriage. Some go through physical abuse. Some go through emotional abuse. Some go through a lot of abuses. Like, some go through a lot. Like, even if it's not beating, if a woman tells you what she goes through, some women, I'm not saying, it, if some women tell you what they go through in their marriage, you will be like, eh? I'm in a better place. Yes, you will scrutinize yourself and you will know that you're in a better place. All this news now going around, it is only that woman that will tell her story, which she can't even, unless, even in her next life, even in, if there's something like that, even in her next life, she might not remember because that is what we were told. She might not remember what happened. Just that she will, maybe, she will be cautious of whom to settle with. You understand what I'm saying? Please, women, you are the person wearing your shoe. You know where it's spending you most. If that shoe is spending you so seriously that you cannot take the pain anymore, remove it. Remove it and throw it away. Get another one. There are so many of them in the market. There are so many men who are willing. Are you trying to tell me that if that woman left that man and decided to remarry? Are you trying to tell me that there are... Are you trying to tell me that no man will accept her with her gift? Imagine, imagine, imagine there was also a video I watched. Somebody that was trying to get her to come and perform in his church. And the man, the man, his husband, her husband, I mean, uh, Mr. Machuku refused. Saying that she doesn't want her wife to be bigger than her, to be noticed more than him. Like he doesn't want that if he allows the wife that all these artists, Chinerudoma, them, Messi, them, that they will not see his wife's back. You are, you are gradually offering a, you are gradually offering a light that God just lit. And you are proud of it, telling it, telling your fellow man that you are proud of it. Please, women, if you see, if you notice any red light, leave. If you notice any red light, any red flag, leave. I'm so glad that the death of this woman has brought so many liberation to a lot of women, even those in relationships. A lot of them have now, have now braced up to say something. A lot of them are now speaking up. A lot of them are now, are now moving out of toxic relationships and marriages. The other day I saw somebody canceled her wedding. You have a wedding in, in some days, Abby. Yes, that woman have a wedding in some days back. If you see her eyes. If you see her face, the husband to be used to her as a beating drum. Like the husband was busy panel beating, like panel beating this girl, and their wedding is just in a few days' time. Now later he will come and apologize. Maybe take you to the hospital, and then uh, you will buy a lot of things and cover up. On that day, Marike will do the rest. Then neighbor Zena the marriage, Buko he will kill you final, and you will be dead. I am so happy that a lot of women are now speaking up. A lot of women are now brazing up and facing the reality that it's, if it's not working, it cannot work. If it's not working, that marriage no go work. I was discussing with somebody the other day. It's not even somebody. It was um, my junior sister-in-law. I was discussing with her and she was like, even at her age, seeing things that are happening now, that she cannot even stand a man that will slap her. No matter how, no matter what is it, men are supposed to control their anger because she's somebody's daughter. And I'm so proud that the children of nowadays are beginning to see things the way they should be. Those that have sense to, because they are the ones that, uh, that will think love is everything and they will kill them instantly. Okay. Then my sister-in-law told me a story. She said that one of her cosmates was engaged to a guy. Now, that guy used to beat the girl to hell. This thing I'm telling you now happened in Absu. That guy used to beat the girl. Each time the girl comes back from visiting the guy, it's either uh, here is red or here there is bruises or maybe in her arms as a result of beating. It happened that 
um some weeks back the girl went to visit the boy and the girl the boy had the girl had a chance to go through the boy's phone and the guy was cheating remember that that girl he has already engaged to the girl and he has also went to see the girl's parents now the girl saw the um either whatsapp message or something and started confronting her husband to be the guy started beating it resulted to a fight from a fight, it resulted to murder. She was telling me the story some days back. Her cosmates lost her life because of a man that was... Now, wow. And then I asked her, you, what, what is your take on it? And she said she can... If you, she's dating you and you feel like you want to marry her, you should, you're supposed to treat her like a queen. Because she's a queen. If her father doesn't beat her the way you are, who are you to beat her? Are you the person that, are you the person that trained her up to that stage that she is? How dare you beat her like that? No, be say couple no go fight. So couple do fight. So you understand what I'm saying? But not in a in a situation where by any little thing, you don't want money. Any little, I beg, I beg. Don't even beat my daughter that way. If you beat my daughter that way and she decides to stay, I will arrest both of you. In the event two of you arrest, I will arrest both of you. And then in here I will tell the police people to beat it out of from your from your eyes. Kiwi ke homes okay? Man, what is going on? Yes, marriage is a failure. Marriage is a failure the uh, the level where women will endure and absorb assaults all in the name of being married all in the name of remaining in their husband's home all in the name of my husband is my crown madam you can also create your own crown yes if the marriage is not worth staying please leave leave i'm so happy that a lot of women are speaking up now i'm so happy so please my point is the man of god says she, he is not aware he is aware Go and tell him I said so. He is aware because he cannot say he's not aware. Rumors got na rumors are flying now. You cannot tell me that in a church where your member is going through a lot of things. Okay, the other day the son said that um they were coming um church um yes, they were coming back from church, church dismissed, and they were coming back. And the mother stayed back and was attending to some people. Their father got angry and carried them home. With her wife, with his wife's car, a car that people willingly gave the woman. The man drove them home, leaving the wife in the church. Now, this woman had to board a bike to go home. Also, reaching home, the man started flogging his wife. Why was she late from church? Chineke me. Hmm. Guys, Oga, Daddy Gio, you are aware. You know that such a thing is happening. You just want to, you just want to. You just want to vindicate yourself. You just want to vindicate yourself. No problem, oh. No problem. Mrs. Sosna, she's no longer here to cruel on you. She's no longer here to say, to give her own opinion, like to give her own, as a, to tell people how the whole thing happened. That is why we tell you, leave to tell your own story. Leave that toxic relationship. Leave that toxic marriage so that you will be alive to tell your own story. Guys, this video is too long already. I am ending this video here. I came to clear the air and I hope you found this video interesting. I hope you found one or two informative because a lot is happening. Please, if there is also somebody who is... If you have a friend, a neighbor, a co-wife, a sister that is going through molestation, that is going through domestic violence and that person has refused to say a word help him or her because if he dies your conscience will still be beating you you had the opportunity to save her but you couldn't if she dies or if he dies your conscience will be after you so if you have such person please speak up for the person advise that person let the public know let the authorities know because forget that nobody says something I'm loving the world we are in now. Yes, we are supporting each other. May God bless all of you that are not supporting domestic violence in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you do find one or two interesting. Don't forget to hit your red subscribe button, like and share any video you found interesting here. And of course, I will see you guys again in another village vlog. Stay tuned and keep watching other videos. Bye.